All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Yahweh Kaku Dash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii. And uh, I just want to do a quick video update on this uh, this whole issue with Iran and the U.S. You know, a lot of people are getting uh, really wild up wound up you know and uh this is an exciting time because you know the war is coming the world the third world war you know that is gonna slack you the third the third world war is coming and it's looming and uh it's just the what the, today is the third of uh the third of january 2020 the year of prophecy 20 the year of prophecy and um and you see it starting to shape up really really good man because Tensions are mounting. Now, this is definitely a big event. It definitely, if it's something that really happened, um, if 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 Trump is not using this for a, a wag the dog, wag the dog, wag the dog, dog situation, which this next video I'm gonna show is gonna mention that, is gonna bring that out because you know he got the impeachment going on, he got elections coming up, so this dude's trying to you know pull out pull out all the stops, you know, you know making these strikes, talking about this guy was a a threat to to all American soldiers' lives. He killed more. Like one of the um one of their U.S. representatives, he said, uh, this guy killed more U.S. soldiers than anybody else ever did. You know, just a whole bunch of bullshit and lies, man. You know, and real quick, this is a uh, Second Corinthians two and eleven. Let Satan should get the advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And one of his major devices is lies. One of his major devices is media. You know, which he used to lie and spread it to the other nations as well as his own people. So let me play this real quick. I want to play this one real quick. Suddenly, the impeachment of Donald Trump is no longer top of Washington's political agenda. How long that lasts will be determined by how Iran responds to the killing of Qasem Soleimani. For now, the president is still in Florida and reveling in the success of the military operation while his Republican congressional allies back him. No man alive was more directly responsible for the death of more American service members than Qasem Soleimani. Yeah, so he said that, McConnell said that, but where's the proof of that? Where's the proof that this guy killed more U.S. you know, service members than anybody else before? He said no man alive is more responsible for the deaths and uh whatever murderers of uh u.s service members man and so this is all this is all here to stoke the fire and like i said you see on uh social media which is a lot of people just putting up comments talking about world war three niggas are getting scared of the draft the nigger woman is getting scared of the draft you know they're talking about how they're not going to go and all this other bs but when this third world war comes a lot of these people they are going to get drafted man you know, a lot of you, two thirds, you're gonna you're gonna go to war for this devil, man, and you're gonna die over there in the Middle East. You know, you're gonna be a part of uh, Armageddon, which is the Mountain of Troops, man. You know, but we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that other things must take place, and what's really gonna drag the U.S. as well as Russia because this this uh this video that you see in front of you, it tries to point out as like like Iran is a big military force. Which they have a military might, but it's not as powerful as the U.S. or Russia, you know. So let me play this real quick. This is a region of alliances divided between two big military powers, the United States and Iran. And yeah, you see, like you try to make Iran a big military power, but it's really not, not as big as America and Russia. The United States has military bases across the Middle East, and its allies include Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and many of the Gulf states. Iran, for its part, is allied with President Assad's regime in Syria, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthi forces. And right here, you can see it says the wider strategic partnership Iran, Iran has is with who? China and Russia. And Russia is the mightiest army outside of American army, man. All right. And they're, they're all going to get dragged into this war through the state of Israel, man. All right. When you look at uh, Jeremiah. When you look at Jeremiah 49 and 20, it says, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, 
uh, that he have taken against Edom, which is the so-called white man, and his purpose that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall be made, he shall make their habitation desolate. And this is not talking about ancient Edom. This is talking about America, which is modern day Edom, modern day spiritually Sodom, Egypt, all of that together, man. And uh, he's going to make by them getting into this war, it's going to make that third world war stoke, and it's going to also uh, 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 get nuclear missiles flying, man. Because America and uh, uh, Russia are the two greatest nuclear powers on the earth, man. And so they're going to be shooting missiles at each other. So if if Israel hasn't jumped into this yet, this is not a war. But this is something. Because the scriptures speak about it. When you go to uh, St. Matthew's, let me see if I can find it. I never use these uh, things real quick. Salakia. When you go to St. Matthew's, all right. St. Matthew's chapter uh, 20, Salakia brothers. Yeah, when you go to, when you go to St. Matthew's, all right, chapter 25, 24, verse 6, Matthew's uh, chapter 24, verse 6. Go to St. Matthew 24 and 6, it says this. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And so this is just nothing more than a rumor of war. Because, again, World War III is not happening. And I just saw another article that said, uh, that said, uh, Trump was like, it ain't going to be no war, which is not. It's not, not right now. But the world war is coming. But it's a rumor of war, man. And the scripture says, see, you be not troubled. Like two-thirds, they're troubled. A lot of these people, they're on they're on social media. They're like, oh, man, World War III is coming. We're going to war. Nah, man. You're going to know. When America goes to war, you're going to know. You know? And if somebody say, U.S. can't live five minutes without war. Why is that? Because the so-called white man is ruling, man. And that's, how, that's another reason why you know that the real Israelites are not in power right now. Because the scripture says when the real Israelites get into power, None of these nations are going to know war anymore, man. Okay? And it also speaks in Revelation, I think it's chapter 6, where, it's, uh, where it speaks about how this, how that, where the horse was uh, able to, uh, to take peace from the earth, man. You know, Trump said, oh, yeah, I love peace, man. He doesn't like peace, man. He doesn't, he doesn't know the first thing about real, true peace, man. You know? Scripture says through their policy, his, through his policy, you know, he's going to feign peace, man, and bring war to the war to the earth roughly paraphrasing man. okay so we know that russia has to get in this in order for this to really be a war now again this can stoke the fire you know they claim that this guy they the uh, america killed was a you know terrorist or whatever you know he killed all these people but nobody nobody has heard about dude until until recently man and the guy even says this right here let me, let me go ahead let me show you he said, uh, up until this point, nobody had ever heard of, uh, yeah, right here, this guy right here. I'll play this real quick. Trump gloated about the details of the mission while taking questions from the media, but not this time. His supporters in Congress have been praising his decisive action, but frankly, hardly any Americans had heard of Qasem Soleimani until after his death. Yeah, that's it. And that's how they, that's how they tell you that, oh, he killed all these people. He was responsible for all these service members' deaths. You know, but you never heard of this guy, man. He just came out of nowhere, man. And that's what Esau does, man. You know, that's why we're not ignorant of his devices, man. But nonetheless, you're still going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what this is. This is a rumor of a war, but be you be not afraid, uh, fear not, because the end is not yet. You know, a lot of people are getting excited about this. Again, it's something great because it's, uh, you know, things are happening, but in reality, we know that it's an order of things, man. And we know that not until Russia gets involved, it's not going to be no third world war, man. But the world, the war is coming, and Israel is going to bring it. Israel is going to get America dragged into the war, 
And automatically, Russia's going to get dragged into the war once Iran gets attacked. Yeah? It says right here, this is Ezekiel 38 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against it. In that land of Gog and Magog is Russia. You know, and say, Thus saith the Lord, Power Yahweh, by Shem Shad, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, which that was that power. The Lord put that gave this devil, this Edo, um, Russian Edomite devil power after uh, the uh, Iron Curtain fell. Okay, now that's, now you see they did a whole military overhaul. They're ready to go, man. And it says, I will bring thee forth and, I, and all thine armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Listen to this. Persia, which is which is Iran. Okay, you... you you can look that up yourself. Uh, um, Persia got changed to Iran, you know, sometime in the 19th or the 20th, early 20th century, something like that. But Persia got changed to the name of Iran. So all these people are going to go to war with them. Remember, if you look, if you go right here, it tells you that Iran is a strategic partner of who? Uh, of Russia and China, man. You know? So it says right here, it says Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the north quarter, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, uh, uh, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So Russia is a guard unto God and Magog, which is Russia, is a guard unto these different nations. That's why the U.S. hasn't really uh, you know, establish no type of going into Iran all out offensive, man, because if they do such a crazy thing, Russia automatically gonna get involved and then it's gonna be a world war. And just like the, the World War One and World War Two, it was a what it was a different nations chose a side and they, they were partners uh throughout the war conflict, you know? And that's what's that's what's gonna stoke this World War Three. It's not gonna be America did something to Iran and now we're gonna know it's going to be the state of Israel, which is the least of the flock of Edom, Amalek, which is the ruler of, of all of Edom, which is the head of Edom. Amalek is going to do something. Something's going to happen where they're going to draw these two major world powers into this battle. Okay? And so until you see that, then you can say World War Three. But this is a precursor to World War Three. We're not saying that, hey, you shouldn't look at this like it's a light thing. It's not a light thing. But at the same time, we know that this is not going to be the thing that drags uh, the two world powers, because they both Edomites, you know, Russia and America, into this battle, man. Yeah, but again, uh, Russia is a guard unto these different nations, Iran, Syria, you know, China, you know, just like America is a guard unto the, to certain nations like Israel uh, uh, um, and other U, uh, UN nations, you know, they're, they're a guard unto them. So, again... Uh, um, once something like that happens, then you're going to know, you know, uh, and hey, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to bring that out, man. This is nothing more than a room of war, but again, be you not afraid. And, but this also shows us too, that we are in a year of prophecy, like apostles to hard coin, because look at what's going on, man. It's the third day of the year of the so-called new year. And you already got uh world, uh, world issues and conflicts popping up, man major world issues and comp uh popping up you know hey so with that i want to say all praise to the hot and uh shalom